Hi there and welcome to this video on Clip View Design. I want to show you a quick five minute um, run through of how we can tidy this chart up, get the data clearer and um, just make it more presentable and easier on the eye. So I'm going to start off by taking a copy of our chart and um, first I'm going to turn off some of the extra bling that uh, has been put on here by someone that doesn't add anything to the data that's conveyed. So on the style I'm going to simplify simplify and simplify to much more basic bars and um, the multicolor here isn't showing us anything so I'm going to remove that also so take the multicolored off now you can see we're, we're not getting all of the legends tied to the bars so one way we can deal with that is to go for a smaller font size and also angle our, our legends but even then you can see we've got more bars and we've got text so we need to put a scroll bar on on the presentation so I can change that to get us 15 bars only and then a scroll bar the additional items are off to the right but we probably want to see the most relevant values first so I'm also going to place a sort order on so we're going to sort by the Y value so the largest values to the top and the smaller values to the, to the end the um, the caption here is currently duplicated, so we don't actually need that in the chart as well. So we can turn that off on the general tab and remove that. Now, as you can see, this is just the um, expression text. It's going to be some kind of calculation. And what would be more useful here is um, a description of what's going on. So this is sales by salesperson. And seeing we've got the caption bar there, we just will use it to show some more information. So I'm going to put um, this total sales in there as well. So total, I'm going to show that in sterling. And we can tidy that up a little with some formatting. So that's the num function that allows us to do that formatting. And then you need to obviously close the bracket there. So in the same space we were using previously, we also encoded some information. The font up there is quite large, we don't need such a big font. Um, making things smaller while still legible is quite good for getting more information on, on each page. And at the end of the day, your ClickView document is all about um, conveying information. So a smaller font there. We've also got some icons which aren't adding much. Um, certainly wouldn't want to sort of maximize our, our chart it doesn't add anything similarly when you minimize it's easy to lose things so i'm going to turn those icons off those are on the caption tab here so remove print minimize maximize i tend to leave excel on but that's a, a personal choice now it's quite clear that these are salespeople if you know your data so that the label down here doesn't add much so we can turn off any redundant labels so under dimensions we can remove the label now these large numbers here are sort of pushing the the data bars to one side so we don't need to see so many zeros so we can place on the number tab pick our expression and say what we want to show for billions millions and thousands in fact we can also put a pound sign there as we know what these are so pound okay so now it's now showing that in millions I personally like to see a frame around the data. So on the axis we can turn a grid on and show a frame. So just to hem the data in there. Now we also want to tie the colours into our corporate standard. So I, I've done that with a theme. Now a lot of the effects I've already applied can also be applied with a theme. But um, this theme I've created it only has the caption colour. So on the layout tab, sometimes it's on the general, we can pick to apply a theme. And here's the green caption. And that's there. So if we look between our two charts, this one uh, is confused, brightly coloured, but um, at the end of the day doesn't convey perhaps as much information as we get from this simple one here. And when you've got lots of objects on a single page, the simple will win over every time. So I hope that's given you a few ideas of um, how you can tidy up charts and the general look of your dashboards. Many thanks for watching.